Pioneer's AVIC W8400 Next is the latest model of their flagship stereo and finally has been upgraded with new features. They've been fooling us the last few years by making the 8201 Next, which is really the 8200 Next with just an included backup camera. So it's nice to see Pioneer finally do something new with it. Most notably, they added Wi-Fi certified mirrorcast for screen mirroring Android devices wirelessly and wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Finally, only took half a decade, guys. Using wireless CarPlay or Android Auto is a lot easier than you might think. The first step is connecting your iPhone or Android to the stereo's Bluetooth. Once connected, press and hold down the voice recognition button until a device list comes up. Then simply select your phone, which should be listed. If it hasn't, repeat step one. Your phone will then ask if you want to use CarPlay with the stereo. Allow it and you're in. Same thing goes with Android phones and Android Auto. You'll still be able to use your phone normally and you can keep it unlocked or locked. In wireless mode, you can also still connect to one of the receiver's USB ports to get a charge for your phone. It won't interrupt the wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto connection. And yes, both also do work with a USB connection and you'll also get a charge to your phone at the same time from the radio. It's important to note that once committed to wireless CarPlay or Android Auto, in order to switch back to normal Bluetooth functions, you have to clear both the radio's Bluetooth memory and forget the device on your phone. Not that they both don't allow for hands-free calling and music streaming, some people just might like to use the normal Bluetooth functions at some point. It's obvious that Pioneer really encourages you to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto instead. At the time of this video in the summer of 2018, the only phones capable of wireless Android Auto are Google's phones, the Pixel and the Nexus. Hopefully by the end of the year, other manufacturers will catch up and those phones will have to be Android 9.0 or higher. With all of the new improvements, the one thing we didn't get was an HD screen, but on the bright side, its 7 inch capacitive touchscreen is legit, with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Capacitive screens are what we are all used to. We get the responsiveness of a smartphone, plus gesture control like pinch zoom control on maps and swipes for our playlists. The display is motorized and offers multiple angle options, but if security is a concern, make sure to park in a safe area because the display is not detachable. Opening it up reveals a disc slot, an auto EQ input, and an SD card slot. Plus you can adjust the viewing angle. Being Pioneer's flagship model, the stereo has built-in navigation with here maps and traffic by total traffic network. You are no longer limited to a tethered or wireless connection to a smartphone. 
you can have voice guidance without a phone call or cell service. The navigation operates like every other nav and offers over 11 million points of interest, half of which are targets and CVSs. And we put all three navigation methods through their paces, the Nexus internal maps, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Plus Waze, you be the judge on what you think works best. Take second right. Route calculation. Route calculation. In 900 feet, turn right. Hey Siri, guide me to the closest Starbucks. Getting directions to Starbucks. Starting route to Starbucks. Head southwest on Grover Avenue, then turn right onto San Fernando Road. In a quarter mile, Good turn time. left onto San Fernando Road. In half a mile, turn right on, in a quarter mile, turn left onto Sonora Avenue. Hey Siri, stop guiding us. All right, done, Lorenzo. Direct me to the closest Starbucks. Sure, Starbucks. You're recording audio, right? Head northeast on Rosedale Avenue toward West Glen Oaks Boulevard. Take the second right after Jack in the Box on the right onto Grandview Avenue. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Sonora Avenue. Find the closest Starbucks. Okay, handing off to Waze. Here are the search results for find the closest Starbucks. Let's take Glenwood Road, Glendale. In 500 feet, Turn right on West Glen Oaks Boulevard. Turn right on West Glen Oaks Boulevard. In 700 feet, turn left on Grandview Avenue, then turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Pioneer made a decent amount of changes to the radio that I really like. Besides a new look to the front control panel buttons, they took about half the AV inputs and outputs off the back of the chassis of the stereo and bundled them onto a pigtail harness labeling each. These next radios are usually so packed with features and expandability options that they usually have so much going on in the back, so it's actually pretty cool and organized. The AVIC W8400 Next has the auto EQ feature with the input behind the display. Optional CD MC20 microphone required. It's real easy to have the radio set up to your time alignment and EQ settings. With the AVIC W8400 Next, we get dual camera inputs, one of which is a dedicated backup camera input. The video input can be set to camera and the system settings for a front facing camera. This does kill one of the two audio video inputs. On the included wiring harness, Pioneer added a car speed signal input 
and reverse gear signal inputs. The HDMI port now has a small clamp to hold your cable in place to prevent accidental disconnections. There are three ways to mirror your phone onto this radio. Wireless via Miracast for Android phones with Miracast support. Using the HDMI port for iPhone and compatible Android phones. Or via the RCA AV inputs. Wireless Miracast is a game changer by letting you mirror and control your Android device wirelessly to the screen. Connecting is easy while already connected via Bluetooth Go into the phone settings and select Smart View for Samsung and Miracast for non-Samsung phones. Then go into the receiver's AV sources and select Mirroring. Anything that comes up on your phone will be displayed on the receiver, all with two-way control. Using the HDMI, all you need is an HDMI cable and a digital AV adapter for iOS. Then go into the HDMI source. Android phones with USB-C can use our Bueller BUC HDMI 6 to HDMI for a direct HDMI connection to the stereo. For the RCAs, use the Bueller BU HDMI V in addition to the AV adapter. We have extensive videos on mirroring. Links are in the bio for all of them. The AVIC W8400 Next has dual USB ports in the rear of the stereo. The first one is specific for iPhone devices, and the second is for Android devices. Pioneer even provides you with USB labels to avoid installation confusion. You can also connect your phone via USB and just simply use the USB or iPod source to stream music. The USB connection shows album artwork. Bluetooth provides hands-free calling and wireless music streaming, plus dual phone connection. The Pandora source didn't work when using any of the four phones we used to test. The iPhone 10, iPhone 6, Samsung S9 Plus, and LG Stylo. We were able to listen to Pandora via Bluetooth audio. Pioneer has also dropped the Spotify source and expects you to use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or Bluetooth audio to listen to that app instead. We also could not get album artwork to show up via Bluetooth like we have with other Next stereos. I assume these will be resolved in updated firmware. Expandability is key in connecting your car and the AVIC W8400 Next with the iDialing Maestro RR, integrates your vehicle with factory audio systems, and adds OBD2 support with vehicle information allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. Link in bio for that. The radio is also compatible with App Radio Live and App Radio One, which offers some app integration like music apps and even Waze navigation plus potential mirroring with the proper cables. Like expandability, customization is also important. Pioneer's customizable settings offer a whole crop of preset wallpapers to choose from, including a few animated ones. Plus you can upload your own JPEGs and even set your own splash screen. Change the overall color theme of the radio and the illumination buttons, or just scan them. The audio settings put you in full control of your sound. The 13-band graphic EQ features several presets like powerful, natural, and vocal. Adjust the fader and balance position. Get subwoofer control over the low-pass filter. Listening position creates the perfect audio for any seating arrangement. Adjust the crossover and high-pass filters of the front and rear speakers. Time alignment improves accuracy and transient response, plus it add effects like bass boost and loudness. Using a USB thumb drive, SD card, or CD, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, and WMV files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. Although it's not HD, DVD still look pretty great on the capacitive touchscreen. Dual zone control allows you to send an AV signal like a DVD from the radio to an external monitor in the back seat so the rear passengers can watch a movie, while the front seat passengers can listen to any other source like Bluetooth or even use CarPlay. The stereo has a built-in HD radio tuner, a Sirius XM ready with the optional SXV 300V1 universal tuner, and steering wheel control ready with the ASWC1 interface. Links in the bio. The rear connections include GPS antenna, dual USBs, steering wheel control, Bluetooth microphone, second zone audio video output, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, iDataLink Maestro RR, 
HDMI, Sirius XM, radio antenna, RGB input for optional AVIC U280 navigation, and AV pigtail. The AV pigtail includes three sets of four volt RCA preamp outputs for fronts, rear, and subwoofer, RCA AV inputs, rear monitor video outputs, backup camera, and 3.5 millimeter auxiliary audio video inputs. Included with the radio is GPS antenna, auxiliary extension, wireless remote control, USB extension, Bluetooth microphone, wiring harness, and AV pigtail. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.